right guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is James and this is Killing It Country. Fun little video for us today. We're gonna hopefully try to use the BX with, the, uh, with that small trailer hitch adapter on the front of the forks to move my sister's camper. I don't know if it'll lift it, that ball. It sits out there pretty far on the front end loader and uh, as a result, you lose a lot of the lifting capacity. As you probably know, the further out you go, the more lifting capacity you lose. So we're gonna try it. I don't know if it'll lift it. There may not end up being that much BX content in this video, but it'll be fun anyway. Uh, so let's have a look at this, uh, this adapter. I do have a video out on my channel with this thing. It's not the greatest, but uh, we're gonna give it a whirl and see what happens. So if that's what you're here for, stick around, let's do it. Well, that was a short experiment. It's uh, pretty clear that that ball sits way too far out on the end of those forks and would require too much hydraulic output from the BX in order to lift the weight of that trailer. So what we're gonna do instead is uh, we'll swap out the drawbar on this guy. This is uh, something that I designed on my own and I can link to this for towing with the BX while the backhoe is installed. It works really great for stuff that's not super heavy. Uh, there's a chance that this could lift the front of the tractor right off the ground. Let's be honest, it's a BX tractor and I do a lot with this tractor on this property, but uh, some of it's not ideal. Um, so let's go get the draw bar that I use to pull the hydraulic dump trailer. And we'll stick it in there and uh, just put a ball on it temporarily and try to get this thing moved. If not, then we're using the pickup truck, but it's already connected to dad's trailer and well, this was just supposed to make life easier. That's the guy right there. Oh, oh no, that's totally just gonna break off for the for the long long distance of a hundred feet we have to move this thing. The safety police are gonna be after you too in a minute. Oh well. That's alright, it'll take some of the heat off of me. <laughs> it's a little cattywampus, but it'll get the job done. There. Nice. Well, the tongue jack is off the ground and the uh, <clears throat> front wheels of the Kubota are still on the ground. So that's a great sign. The uh, I've got the stabilizer arm down there on the backhoe because I had my camera uh, attached there with the magnet. So uh, you don't have to ask me questions about that. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do just to make sure that I have uh, adequate traction on the front of that thing while I'm turning is I'm gonna take some of these cinder blocks and just slide them over the forks. Just make sure there's nothing under the front tire on the other side here. And it's clear. All four stabilizer jacks are up. We've got nothing hanging. All right, we're ready to move this thing.
That is good enough. We had it set up a little bit further this way last year, but by the time my sister puts her awning out and gets her chair set up, she didn't have very much space. She also has a great big carpet she puts out, so now she's got a little bit more space and she'll be happy, happy. So we'll grab all the lumber and the wheel chocks and uh, the power and all that kind of stuff and we'll get set up. So it was able to do it. Not ideal, obviously, but I mean, it's a BX tractor. And honestly, you give me like the biggest hydrostatic Grand L tractor on this property, I'll find a way to max it out. You just have to use what you have and find a way to make it work. Oh my goodness, fill the fridge, let's get her going. Look at this thing, it's so retro. See what I did there? Well, there you have it, folks. Mission accomplished. Thanks very much for tuning in, and thank you to the new subscribers. It's great to have you along. Uh, the next video will be, uh, you know, probably picking out some of this brush. There's a couple of trees in there that I cut down a few years ago. Uh, another one back there you can see. I'm going to take the opportunity to pull those out of here with the mini excavator. We'll get those uh, bucked up into firewood lengths and uh, split them with the splitter. And then when we're done that, we'll... Uh, use the truck to move the big trailer, put it right back in here, connect it to that dump station and power and potable water. We're also gonna have to flush all of this stuff out and uh, get ourselves set up for RV season 2023 and partying here on the compound. So uh, if you like that, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for tuning in guys. We'll see you in the next one.